All right, guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and the most difficult mission in the StarCraft 2 campaign, at least for me. <laughs> uh, this is the last Protoss mission in Utter Darkness, and we have to defend the sort of the Protoss home base, and uh, it's in a, v in a vision of the future, so it's not actually in the past. And yeah, we just have to defend it for a certain amount of time, and it is pretty brutal. Um, coincidentally, it's also one of my favorite um, maps, missions. But it's also pretty damn difficult. So the first thing you have to do is build more probes. And I'm going to go for shield upgrades. And the reason for that is because my best army that I think in this mission... No, don't do that. Is um, my main army is, is air units later on. So... That's why uh, shield is also good for air units, whilst attack upgrades only work for land units, uh, except for these, of course. These air attack weapons. Um, all right, so now I'm getting some zealots at start. Oh, nice. Phoenix, these are the air units, and they can lift units in the air. And when they lift them, they sort of um, stun them, the which is pretty damn air, handy. We gonna need that a lot because we're gonna try and do it with as little units as we can, in so far as that's possible. <laughs> okay, you already go there. Okay, I think there's an attack coming uh, here at the front first. At least that was in hard, that was the case. So I'm gonna guess that that's the same. Now I should sort of send all my probes here because there's a gold base and when you mine from a gold base you get double minerals or, or I think not double but like um, it's not double but it's like 50% um, more minerals um, and we can do this for long we can only do this for a short period of time before they really own us <laughs> So, there you go, that was the first small attack. Now, this is just a mini attack, it's, it's nothing. Okay, upgrade complete. Okay, we get next shield, we get next attack. And we're gonna have to build, keep building Dark Templar because they don't have much detection at start. So, these will stay invisible. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so they're attacking from this side now. We, that's fine for us because um. We tarry too long. Oh, actually, I should bring my army there. That would help. <laughs> they won't attack this yet. Again, this is all from when I played hard, so it might be different here. But I'm just gonna assume that it's, it's the same. Okay, now they're probably coming from that side next. I guess. That would make sense. Then they've had all corners, so. Right. I'm getting more Dark Templars, as you can see. They really, the only thing I want to have at, at start in this game. And later on, I'll build mainly air units, like I said. And air units, I feel, are really the answer here. And storms are pretty damn amazing as well. Okay, that was that. And let's build some more now. I know this is a very weak army I'm, I'm getting here, but it's gonna be okay, I think. Now, I think, and I'm think that they're almost going to attack this and as soon as they attack that I have to get out of there because <laughs> I don't want to lose my probes because if I do I'm dead so let's see put that in a bit of safety maybe okay attacking at the front and that's going to be a big attack these are the um, the hybrids between Zerg and Protoss and they hurt a lot <laughs> 
that's not fun. Not fun at all. And this is going to be very tough for us to hang on because we don't really have much. But what we're going to do is we're going to lift these up so that they can't attack us. So pretty much only a few of them can attack us at a time. Alright, that went pretty well. And uh, these are almost done, so that's fine. I'm gonna retreat from here because I think soon they'll attack that, and as soon as they attack that, I'm dead if I stay there. Alright. So let's build some pylons. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> I've got a weak, weak army here, so it's going to be very difficult for me to deal with this, but we'll try. We're doing pretty well so far. Uh, they're attacking from here as well, that's not good. Okay, this is also the moment where I start building cannons. Now. The, the, the thing to remember about cannons is they're worthless. Until. Oh, um, until. You get enough of them. And with enough, I mean a lot. And what they will do is they will just distract the small, shitty units that, that will come our way. Like the Zerglings, whilst our big air units that we get later on, they'll buffer, uh, they'll do the actual damage. But they're not as good as against small units, so that's why I'm getting these uh, cannons. But let's see how we go, shall we? Okay, Void Ray C. They're good. Now, we get this. We get this four. And we're going to just make Void Rays. A lot of them. And by a lot, I mean a serious amount. <laughs> And also we're going to make another Stargate. Get all the more upgrades. And all we're going to do is make a lot of Void Rays. Void Rays and Cannons is what we're going to rely on most, mostly. Uh, pretty much only. Uh, till we get the next air unit, which is the Carrier. So, yeah. Uh, we're doing pretty well so far. I'm happy with our. Uh... Now the reason the void rays are really bad at fighting against small units. So that's why we have to get cannons. But see the void rays, the the, the beams. Oh, whoops. The beams get bigger and bigger. The the longer they charge, the longer they attack in a row the better they are. So, that's why Void Rays are... They have the sickest damage when they sort of get charged. Alright, so we did that. Let's get our units there for a bit. Let's build this close as well. This 
see I'm lifting these so that they can't do any damage to me. That's pretty much what I'm going to try to do the whole game. <laughs> So fast. Where's my pro? There, okay. Rebuild time. Now I don't actually have enough. very small army it's pretty much only cannons that keep me alive at the moment uh, that's not the best situation to be in I would preferably have a bit more of an army but well not yet <laughs> I do have a big bank um, normally that would be a bad thing but that's not really too bad at the moment because um, the next unit we get will be amazing which is the carrier the carrier is sick. I guess they see these Nidus worms, we've seen it before, they just spit out units all the time. Not a problem whatsoever. Okay. That was easy to defend. Nah. Yeah, there we go, carriers. So carriers are like, um, well, exactly what they call <laughs> the carriers. Uh, so they shoot little airplanes out of their, um, uh, well, I wouldn't say us, but let's say us. And they do a lot of damage. Uh, so they're pretty sick. So that's going to be my main damage dealer, I think. Um, And any extra minerals I have is going to go into cannons. And I'm going to hold on because this thing here, the archive, will give us a lot of research. Um, and of course, research is good because that means the other missions become just a little bit easier. Which that's really what we want, so. Also, the good thing about. Um, carriers is they can shoot in the air as well just like void rays so if we lift them with the phoenix we can um, easily deal with them look these carriers are so slow to build <laughs> all right well, well we're doing pretty well actually I'm, I'm happy with so far um, we've still got seven minutes left on that though and that is quite a long time now, we, the problem is we don't have enough gas. Hmm. Hmm. Don't have enough gas to build another carry around. We built two. But I'll just wait a little bit. So that's why you see now already we're getting a lot of extra minerals. That's why we can build these. Now the carriers, we have to rebuild those little units that come out of it. And that's a real danger because rebuilding those... If only we had acted sooner. ...is very expensive. So that's a lot of the minerals go in there as well. Okay, five minutes left for research. This is... Um, going... Better than I expected. 
it, it's not easy, but it's going better than I expected. We've got a lot of supply left, so if we if we can max out on only carriers, we'd be laughing now. But I don't think that will happen. But again, let's see. You know, who knows? These cannons are still alive. It's kind of amazing. That's pilot as well. Whew. This mission makes me tickle. It's so amazing. I love this. Okay. There we go. Built more carriers. We've got so many. Look at that. Carriers are absolutely gorgeous. They are the nicest. Ones. Now, uh, I'm going to stop building carriers for a while soon because I need some void rays as well because carriers cost a lot of money to maintain because every single little one of these uh, units that die means that we have to rebuild them and that costs money and in, in the end money will be very important for us like we're gonna run out <laughs> so see this is not really a big problem there's a lot of these tiny zerglings coming we've got a lot of cannons so I can sort of don't have to deal with it on every single front at the same time that's nice well, now it's becoming a bit much. Oh, wow. No, I'm still hanging on. There might be one cannon loss, but that is no biggie. Oh, you want to be careful there, maybe, mate. Get away from there. That. Look at how much is coming, it's insane, isn't it? Carrier has a Roy. Oh, good for you. Alright, there we go. See, we're handling this quite nicely now. Uh, and that's just because uh, it's getting more difficult because uh, we're getting close to the archive. So it's two and a half minutes only for the archive dies. So, where are you? Come here. You have to lift these for me. When you lift them, they they die without doing any damage themselves. Oh, that took a big chunk of my... Oh, that took a big bump out of my army. Uh, my, out of my cannon. Which I guess is my army at the moment, so... <laughs> can't really see what I'm building. Alright, there we go, that'll do. You're not building anything, that's not good. You need to keep building stuff. And as my money's getting a bit lower and lower and lower slowly, um. Now, also, I think the top part is easy to defend, but I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should start building... Yeah, I'm going to start building some cannons on here because... Yeah, I'm going to start building cannons here. The bottom is almost impossible to defend later on. It really is. What are you building for me? Okay, void race. Oh, kill that please. Yeah, we got the archives. Okay, so we don't have to. I mean, we don't have to defend the um, the middle anymore, and it's almost impossible to do so. And I'll, I was going to show you why, but I guess you can see that now. <laughs> oh shit! It's not good. Kill. Kill those. <laughs> um, so the other thing I usually like to do is just build a ton of cannons just around the top here as well, so that if they want to come up, they have to go through all this, and, and it gives me a lot of time to sort of prepare. I'm not building anything anymore. That's a bit, hmm, a bit iffy. 
Anyway, so far we're doing, uh, if I may say so, really well. Although all these cannons are going down, see how fast they die. Once it gets to this stage, it's just... Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna have to focus on this a little bit, so I don't know what, what is happening with my army, but... Oh, no, no, minerals. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're still surviving here. <laughs> That's interesting. So we've got 1800 enemy slain, so we're almost there because we're killing more and more. Every wave is going to be bigger, and every wave we're going to have a better army or better cannons, you know, more cannons. So soon, very soon, we're also going to get a mothership, and our mothership is going to be amazing. Uh, our mothership is really going to do much for us. What's that? Okay, okay. Corruptors. Corruptors are good against air. Never mind. I'm just gonna let this die because the archive is safe now. We got, um, we got the uh, achievement already, so easy. Just gonna sit in here. Actually, we can help attack a bit. I mean, why not? But mostly, we're gonna have to defend these cannon walls. And yes, they're gonna die quite fast, but. We got such a massive army by now that we should be okay. Well, look at that how fast they slice through it. Oh, Ugh. Ooh, look at that portals opening! Yay! Yay us! Okay. So now. The real fun stats. We've got a mothership. Now, mothership can do a vortex. So, a vortex uh, cloaks our units. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, so the mothership cannot die. If it does. Okay, whatever. Oh, we won already. Yay! We won. <laughs> we got all the achievements, so I can literally die now. I don't mind it. We won. Uh, there is achievements for sort of going beyond the Call of Duty, so killing, I think it's. 3500 or 4500 um, not in brutal though that, that would be almost impossible but I did that already so you know we, we're just gonna sit pretty here but avoid raids uh, actually I'm showing you the um, you can see the frame rate dropping <laughs> beautiful isn't it um, you need a monster PC to, to do this so hopefully I have one anyways the monster ship this one here um, it can do mass recall, which teleports all units uh, within an area to the. Um, what is the attacking me? Oh yeah, <laughs> attacks uh, teleports all units in an area to the mothership, but it can also do a vortex. I'll show you what that does as well. And vortexes are used a lot in multiplayer. Okay, so we're gonna die now. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's still there. So we'll do a vortex. Um, no, not yet. This is this army is too small. Actually, we can do it here. So, get a whoop! It sucks everything in. And after a while, it comes out again. And in multiplayer, this is mainly used uh, to get Archons, you know, the um, the big bulky units that do AoE damage. Uh, you put those in there, and it kills everything in an area because all the Archons come out at the same time to do area of effect damage to everything as well. Um, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, we're gonna lose now, so. I'm happy though, we did really well. Um, without even these upgrades, which I probably should have gotten, but then again, I don't really have any ground units, so. Look at the army coming in. Oh. Wow. Alright, yeah, build a nexus. 
Kill an Axis. Oh, and the Mothership also cloaks everything, so... It's not a little thing it does, which is pretty awesome. Look at that frame rate, it's perfect. And this is on maximum settings as well, you try that on your home PC. <laughs> it's, it's, it's horrible. Even if the frame rate is only 30 FPS, which is the same as the video, so that's not a problem, but when you're playing, it's pretty difficult. You see it on um, when they're casting a professional um, StarCraft 2 game, and it gets like this. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't often, but if it does, the whole stream lags. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's so much fun to watch. Uh, there we go. Look at my army beating that down. Wow. All right, so um, what now? I mean, we're still alive. Still not a nexus. Let's go scout. Let's go scout there, let's go scout there, and see how how long we can survive. My guess? Zero. <laughs> These Zerklis can't do anything, because there's nothing on the ground left. This is running away. Oh no, they're actually running up my probe. And they'll kill this off, and then I'll be done, so... Look at that. Oh. Those are massive optimists. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wait, did this Ram. Huh. Interesting. No, my last building. No. Suck him in. Fly in there. Fly in there. <laughs> See everything just disappearing. Whoop. Whoop. And then everything comes out at once. And then watch the frame rate. Now my frame rate is 65. Oh, 30. Everything coming out at once. Wait, do I still have a building left? Why am I not dead yet? Why am I not dead yet? Why am I not dead yet? Oh, okay, this is the death push. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna survive. This is what what the. Okay, well, let's go attack then, shall we? Uh, let's go straight to the middle. Oh, these are a bit fast. Wait for the rest. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's all my air. Oh, these units die so fast now. They're fully upgraded, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, we didn't get these. We don't really have to, but we might as well. We're busy. I was running away from the screen. Hey, come back. That's not fair. I can't get off the screen. Look, he's running away from the screen. That's not fair at all. Yeah, so the way this works is there, there is a bigger map that we can't see and our units can't go to. That's sort of how that works. Another vortex. Hey, <laughs> we got the big one in there. That's kind of interesting. Go in, go in, my pretties. Only the mothership can't go in, sadly. Oh, wow! <laughs> Just going after this omegalis. Right, can I die now? I mean, that would be very pleasant. Well, not really, I'm still alive. No, no, we're gonna die now. Alright. So whilst we die, this was the vision of the Overmind. He sees this coming and we have to do something about it. And the way we do that is by saving our girlfriend. <laughs> who is now a Zerk Queen. So there we go. Perfect, another mission one. Uh, pretty well done. This mission was uh, giving me a lot of trouble earlier on heart and stuff. So I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to skip this. He's going to kill all the Zerg. There we go. Perfect. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.